Hello, welcome to Wales and the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. And in this video, I'm going to be doing some landscape photography and some wild camping, which means I've got my wild camping friend along with me. Yes, welcome to the Brecon Beacons National Park, and I am joined, of course, by Gareth Danks. Hi, Gareth. Hello. Gareth is, uh, as usual, because I'm going wild camping and I haven't got a clue uh, and I don't really know the area well, Gareth is along with me for uh, a bit of wild camping adventure and hopefully a bit of landscape photography. Any luck? Where are we exactly in the Brecon Beacons? We're central in the Brecon Beacons and we're heading up to Warren Reeth, which is a part of the Brecon Beacons that I've never actually been to, and it's got some lovely layering views over towards Penavan. So we're completely the other side of yeah. the Brecon Beacons where I'm normally used to camping. So this is an, this is going to be really exciting and hopefully get a new perspective on the Brecon Beacons. And, or we'll uh, get lost. Well, yeah, yeah, get that's lost all, trying. That's, that's it, always yeah. a possibility, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite cloudy at the moment, but you know the weather forecast says it's going to clear up a bit no so wind at all so it's, it's there's barely any wind which is yeah, quite nice still got shorts on it's not cold yeah. fantastic uh, I, typical I, welsh weather yeah obviously <laughs> i've cut the video down at this level because you you know i don't think the camera exposure would handle the color of my white legs <laughs> I, I, I don't think the <laughs> automatic exposure would very probably, scottish looking it, legs, it, it would probably blow up yeah so um you might not see my legs that much um but anyway we've got a bit more walking to do um, so I'll come back to you once we've uh, set up camp and then uh, hopefully we'll get some... Get the beers out. Get, get the beers out, get the wine out <laughs> and then we might even take some pictures as well. Well, priorities. Get yeah, the, priority. Get the beer fun. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, see you in a bit. See you soon. Okay, we're at our camp spot now. Um, I'm going to put the name of the hill up in the, the screen where we are because um, I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to pronounce all these uh, Welsh language names. Uh, despite the mountain weather forecast predicting uh, clear hills uh, at the summits, um, it's actually got really cloudy. And actually, there's a little bit of rain coming in. I can't see any of the, the peaks anymore. I can't see Penafan anymore. So I think the chances of actually getting some pictures tonight um, are pretty slim. In fact, in fact, I think the best thing I can do now is actually get the tent up. In fact, the, <laughs> the valley below has just disappeared in, in clouds. So uh, I think it's going to be settled down for the night and wait for the morning. But the morning could be really interesting. We've got some really good views I'd show you, but because of all the cloud, I can't <laughs> show you, but they've got all the ridges for all the different hills over there. And I've got the sun's going to be rising over there. And if I get the right light across that in the morning, it could look absolutely fabulous. Um, it better do, because this is a, yeah, it could be another trip we'll come to the Brecon Beacons. And the weather's just been miserable. But you know, I'm having fun, I'm out camping. Gareth's with me, we're having a bit of crack, so it's not all bad, but uh, I really better get my tent up, I think. I'll speak to you in a bit. I can't believe it, I actually put up my own tent. Look, look, it's a miracle. That just shows you what an easy tent that one is to put up. I obviously had a little bit of guidance uh, from Gareth, but you know, uh, I actually did all the pinning and the pulling and whatever the technical terms are for it, and it's up. Whether it stays up all night, we'll have to see, but you know, in principle, I'm pretty happy with that. How's the coffee coming along? Well, if I get the lid off, yes, yes, boiling and lovely. It's gonna be fantastic. Excellent. There's no better coffee than a coffee on the mountain. <laughs> Someone said to me in my last wild camping video, all you did was drink coffee. Well, I've got a coffee now, but I do hope it's not going to be just about drinking coffee. I do hope we get some conditions. Probably not tonight, but you never know. Fingers crossed for tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this coffee, which uh, Gareth has made absolutely lush. Oh, yeah. Right, I've just finished making my evening meal. Now, I bet you're wondering, have I done scallops or maybe a bit of uh, steak or frack of lamb or a bit of sea bass? No, 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 no. I have got chicken and mushroom pot noodle, king size. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the dinner of champions for wild campers. Well, it's gonna fall over. Uh, oh, we don't fall over. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this, uh, drink some more wine and then, uh, we're going to call it a night. Oh, I really hope, fingers crossed, for tomorrow morning we're going to get some decent condition. Because if I have to, if I've been to the Brecon Beacons again and had really rubbish conditions, I swear I'm never coming back. Any any final message, Gareth? 
Yeah, please come back. Cause, well, in fact, no, don't come back because every time you're here, the weather's crap. <laughs> yeah, weather's crap. <laughs> all right, I'll see you all in the morning. Hello and good morning. You joined me just a couple of minutes before uh, sunrise. Now, conditions, well, when I woke up this morning, I opened my tent, I couldn't see anything, so I was like, oh, geez, oh, here we go again. But it has cleared a little bit. Still quite a lot of cloud about, but there are lots of breaks, and that kind of rolling cloud that comes up over the hills and over the top kind of passes and goes, and you get some really nice views. There's a bit of colour in the sky as well from the rising sun. Now, how it's all going to pan out this morning, I've got absolutely no idea because it is, there's still quite a lot of clouds, so it's really hard to tell what's going to happen this morning. But I've got the, finally actually got the camera out onto the tripod. Did take a couple of shots this morning, well, a couple of test shots to kick things off. And then it's really, I think it's going to have to be, it's going to be quite uh, dynamic this morning and just keep an eye out all around to find out what, if there's any compositions to be had because I think the light could be quite fleeting. Uh, as we hope it's going to pan along some of the hills and the ridges there uh, behind us. So that's the plan. Uh, and failing all that, Gareth's going to make coffee. So it won't all be bad. Well, never underestimate the power of a cup of coffee. Just as soon as Gareth and I started drinking our cups of coffee, the cloud all cleared and we got a very fleeting moment. We've actually got a view of the mountains. We could actually get to see Penafan. Got a couple of shots. I mean, it was like really, really fleeting. We literally barely had time to compose the image properly, grab a few frames. We've got some nice light. Um, and then we've just been sort of running around grabbing shots in between uh, the cloud breaks. Now, it does look like the cloud is uh, kind of properly gone now, but the only problem is now, well, a good half hour after sunrise and the sun has now risen uh, and it's now behind a, a bank of clouds, so I don't think we're going to get any more nice warm light. But the views, the views are really spectacular up here. It's nice to actually see some of the surrounding area, so um, we'll see what happens. You never know what I uh, might get some good shots, do some, I uh, might do a couple of panoramic images, but yeah, anyway, I'll show, I'll show you some of my uh, images that I've taken this morning. I think sometimes you just have to take pleasure in the adventure and not worry too much about the photography. Well, that's definitely the attitude I'm having to take up with this 24 hours I've had here in the Brecon Beacons. I mean, it's been definitely an adventure. As always for me, I certainly enjoy getting out into the hills, going for a long walk, and on the rare occasion I do a bit of wild camping. So, but yeah, talking of wild camping, I have to thank Gareth again, he lent me a tent. Uh, gave me some guidance on how to set it up and sort of guided me around this area. So big thanks to, to Gareth. Um, but in terms of the photography, oh, it was challenging. I got absolutely nothing yesterday. And then, like I said, when I woke up this morning, uh, I looked out my tent, it was covered in, in cloud. And what happened really this morning was we got, we got set up, we had a look out to where the sun was coming up. And then it was very, very fleeting with the moments of cloud just disappeared. Uh, but then just as the sun broke the horizon, if the cloud cleared at the same time, we've got some amazing light. But the challenge was, this morning was, you'd, you'd set off for one location, but the light would actually happen over there because the clouds are moving about all over the time, all, all, all the time. So it was really difficult to get a composition because you really didn't have enough time to properly fine tune your composition um, before the light went. And then the light would be somewhere else. So you'd have to run over with the tripod. 
So it was a bit hectic. So I'm not entirely sure how great the, the pitches were. But like I said, it's about, for me, it's going to have to be really about the venture uh, on this particular trip. Um, I do love being outdoors and, and this is such a beautiful national park. I mean, just look at these views. They're absolutely stunning. Um, and um, Gareth and I were sitting up last night watching the sun and, we, and even about an hour and a half after the sun had set, you could still see an, an orange glow in the distance. And it was just nice just sitting there having a chat and, and just watching nature. And, you know, and sometimes these views don't translate necessarily to, to good pictures. Sometimes you just have to sit there and appreciate what you've got. Um, but like I say, I've had an absolutely fabulous time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though it might have been slightly, slightly chaotic and the, 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 the pictures are a bit all over the place. But um, I think the important thing is, you know, if photography is a, it's a key to adventure, you know. It, certainly for me, it's sort of enriched my photography life and it's got me to, to go out and meet up with people like Gareth and, and do something different like the wild camping. So I hope your photography uh, allows you to get in similar types of adventures. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Hello and welcome to Wales and the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. And in this video, I'm going to do in so. Keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> no take. Hello and welcome to Wales and in the. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wales and the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. Is that right, Brecon Beacons? The harder you try sometimes. Hello, welcome to Wales and the Brecon. <laughs> last take, last <laughs> turn. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Wales and the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. And in this video, I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Wales and the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. And in this video, I'm going to be doing some landscape photography and some wild camping, which means. I've got my wild camping friend along with me.